Stainless steel is very difficult to silver solder. It wants to run to one part or the other instead of going in between where you want it to be. Or it just runs all over the place. This is a short piece of silver solder, about an eighth of an inch long. This is the same length of silver solder, but it's been smashed flat so I can put it between the two parts. Okay, I've taken that smashed piece of silver solder and I've inserted it between these two parts where it's trapped and it'll melt right where it's supposed to be. So now I'm going to put a little flux on it. Get ready to hit it with a torch. And you got to be very careful you heat both parts up evenly. And you see the steel, stainless steel, start to turn a little bit red. You know you're done. Here's a little jig I made to hold the key hinge and align it with a bracket so I can solder this joint right here. I use a magnet to attract in magnets. Snaps down, hold the bracket in place. Same thing to hold the key hinge down. That way I can move the parts around and align them. I've washed off the flux and there you can see it. Perfect solder joint. Now I'm doing the same thing between the bracket and the cup. There's a thin little piece of solder clamped between the two. Add the flux and I'll hit it with a torch. Again, as soon as the steel gets to be the slightest bit of red on both pieces, you're done. Same thing on this bracket of the cup. Got a flattened piece of solder clamped between these two parts. Add the boron flux. Bring in the torch. Just enough heat to where you see a little bit of red on both parts and the flux and the solder melts. This is the joint I just finished. I just washed off the flux and you can see there's no burn marks. Only it's going to take a minor amount of buffing to clean it up. This really works well to clamp the solder between the two parts. It makes stainless steel much easier to solder and the joints come out much cleaner. Locating touch pieces exactly where you want them is nearly impossible. The technique I use is to hard solder a temporary wire to the touch piece and the bracket. Then you can bend things around, get the touch piece exactly where you want it, and hard solder the bracket. If the solder joints are too close to each other, you can use a piece of cotton and a short piece of wire to tie on the cotton, then add water. And that'll keep the one solder joint from melting. When you're done soldering the touch piece to the bracket, simply remove the temporary wire. 